Trublek now. Uh, this is on an Airedale. So first, I'm going to start at the feet again. Nice and tight. Coming round. Leg, you always have to make sure that the leg is standing properly, that the dog is standing properly. You don't want to do a leg like this. He has to be standing backwards, otherwise you're going to get a weird shape. So again, as I like to start at the front, fluffing, holding the comb like this again, fluffing up. Coming from here, I'm going to go diagonally to the front of the toes. Because he's a big dog, you don't want to take off too much and just do a straight line. Fluffing over again. Make sure the feet look nice and tight. After I've done my diagonal line, I'm going to start from the back. Again, leaving the hop nice and full. So we've clipped up to about three, four fingers above the hock. So I've stopped here. We used a five blade on the body. I'm just going to trim this here. And then I don't want to take off too much. You don't want to have a straight leg, otherwise it looks crazy. So you want to leave this nice and full. Hey, Buster. into the foot and the back. Nice and round. Front line done, back done, now the sides. Again, I'm using my line from here. That little step out, that's my guide to see how much I want to take off. Scissors pointing outwards, because I don't want to go into the leg. And again, you want to get that baseball bat shape, <laughs> not bacon bat. <laughs> making sure that you're scissoring either up or down. Never cross. Less off the bottom. And again, keep going over and over and over. After I've done the front, back, sides, the inside, fluffing it and sideways, straight down. When I do a tube leg, I like to do this part as well. So rather than making it look square, so I'll do the front, the back, the side, 
then the inner part, and then I'll just do this little front line here, and like that, so to make it more of a circle. So I'll pull the hair out to the side at this point. And then you can see all this messy hair. And very minimal, I take off. Just to make it look more round. And then again on this part here. the dog seem bow legged so you don't want to scoop in like that so fluff it up and then straight down and then curving in to make it look neat then again I'm doing that little corner here Then I will always have a look from the side here as well. Let's see if I feel like anything else needs to come off. That is the back leg of an Airedale. Also, this part here, you're going to make it curve in when you do the skirt, but that's the true leg. Voilà.